Hi, welcome to Learn and Flutter. And today we're going to continue with material design and we're going to be looking at navigation. Navigation is the ability to change our row. Now in Flutter, a route is simply a page or a screen. Before we were creating pages and screens, but well actually just one per application. We haven't seen yet creating multiple pages because we didn't know about how to navigate from one page to the other. In the last video, part five, what we did was open a drawer. We did not change screen. We still had one screen, our own screen. And then what we had was a drawer that slid out and partially covered the screen. And that had place for us to either put more information like details, for example, or potentially buttons to allow us to do navigation, which is what we're gonna see today. And in part seven, we're still gonna be talking about navigation, but then we're gonna be looking at name routing. Today, we're gonna look at something much simpler. Um, that's just a heads up. Now, before we get into all this stuff, let's um, get down to some simple channel stuff. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscription button. If you like what you're seeing, hit thumbs up on all the videos always. That really helps them to bubble up and other people to see it and experience what you are enjoying. If you have feedback for me, please leave them in the comments or on the channel page itself um, in the community section. I put an email there how you, where you can reach me. Please don't abuse it. But if you ever need to send me an email, that's where you're gonna be able to do that. All right, or you can leave comments and stuff over there too. Um, in addition to if you wanna leave them specifically for any particular video. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, so we're gonna start by looking at an example application Let's say we were writing an application with three pages. So we have our own page, which is the first page when the application starts. And then we have a second page, which we're gonna call page one, very creative. And we have a third page, which we will call page two. Now here's what we want. We want the user to be able to, from page to home page, be able to use a button that's on the home page and say when they click this button, for example, they're taken to page one. This means that the application only shows them page one. We're not talking about a drawer that slides out and partially cover the application. We're not talking about a dialogue that pops up. We're talking about a completely different experience and the whole screen is taken up um, to make the user think, well, oh, I'm doing something different here. And we can then use the second button and take them to page two if that's what they choose when they are on the home screen. But this is all like you show them the application and they have these two options. They can go either way. Now, once they've picked an option, let's say they're in page one, we want them to be able to get back to the home screen. And there we're going to provide them with a button. So when they click that button, well, they're going to route them back to the home page. Now, remember what I said in the intro. In Flutter, a route, page, and screen is all synonymous. That's what Flutter calls a route and a page. I personally don't like it. I see a routing as just the way you get from, you know, where you are to where you're going. But that's what Florida calls it. Now, if they're on page two, we'll have a button there that allows them to click that button and go back to the home page. Now, we don't have any routing between page one and page two. We can, but we're not doing that in this simple example. Keep it simple, of course, we're getting started. So let me try and illustrate for you what it might look like if you're actually using the device or the application. When the application starts up, you'd see the home page with the two buttons. And this will allow you to pick whichever one you want. And let's say you decide to go to page one where you click that button. Well, the home page would disappear. And then now you'll have a totally different experience, which is screen two or in Flutter, the page one route. This is what's going to be available to you. And you will have that button, like I mentioned, that you can then click and go back to the home screen. And whatever animation or transition thing effect Flutter wants to use or you configure, that's not what we're talking about here. We're just simply focusing on the fact that all your entire screen or page changed. And similarly, if you're here and whether you came back from page one or this is the first time or you're just doing it because you love going to page two, when you hit on page two, what we expect is for you to be able to get a different experience and have page two road load. And then if you click home, you should be able to go back to the home screen. 
All right, so now that we understand what the experience is gonna be like, and we've seen it, sort of imagine it if the application is running, I wanna try and show you what's really happening behind the, behind the scene. In Flutter, what it's doing, it's maintaining a navigation stack. And if you know anything about a browser, you can think of it as the browser stack sort of for, for back. But really what it's doing is maintaining a stack. The stack is maintained by the navigator class. And this is gonna become clear when we write some code on how to move from page to page. Okay, so again, if we imagine that our application starts up and we have that home screen there visible to us or the home route, what is really happening on the side, Flutter has a stack and on top of that stack is our home screen or our home route, right? Because that is at the top of the stack, that is what is being shown. When we click the button and go to the second page, Flutter is putting on top of the stack, it pushes on top of the stack, our first page, which is this page one. And because that's on top of the stack, well, that's what's being shown. When we click the button to go back to the home screen, Flutter is simply removing or popping that route off the stack. And what is below? Well, it's our home screen. And similarly, when we press the button to go to page two, well, Flutter is just simply putting that on top of the stack so that when we say we want to go back, we're really just removing the um, road that's on top of the stack. With that said, um, let's jump into some code and see how easy this is. It really, really is very easy to do this stuff. And like I say, if you keep in mind that there's a stack that we're using, well, you'll see it's what we're going to use actually push and pop to be able to bring about this effect of moving from page to page or move a change in route. So before we get into the code, let's take a look at where you might find the documentation for navigation. So if you go to Flutter Dev and then you click on Docs and then you click on Widget Catalog and then you scroll down and you look, go to Material Components and then in, within Material Components, there is a section on navigation. And so there it is, navigation and routing. And if you click here, um, it's going to tell you that how um, Flutter Navigator is the class that does all the navigation. And I encourage you to go, you know, read up on the Navigator class. It's not very complex, very simple and straightforward. And, you know, there's some examples. So please do read it. And it's going to tell you exactly what I've told you, but it's good to sort of read the stuff and have um, idea how it works. Okay, so let's jump into the code. So here we are in our section five material design directory and we last worked on drawers. So let's make a copy of that. Now, if you're following along and you build the last um, application and you have a build directory, do clean it up before you copy because the build directory, you don't need it unless you build the application. And once you're finished with it, clean it up because it's just artifact that you can rebuild anyway, and it takes up a lot of space. The other thing that I mentioned before, if what I do before I start working on this is I do Flutter upgrade. So um, just to make sure that oh, I'm on the latest or whatever is going on with Flutter. So do run Flutter upgrade outside of the Flutter directory and that replicate like your installation. And then within the directory of the project itself, run Flutter upgrade. So I've done those things already, so uh, we don't have to waste time. And so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to call it part six, um, navigator, navigator, and then simple navigation, simple routing, I think is what I call the slide. And so ooh, I need to do recursive here, minus R. And so now let's go into this project directory and I'm going to do Visual Studio Code. Okay, and you can see I have my simulator running already. All right, so that this is up. Um, close that. And let me zoom in, make this a little bit bigger. And so we always start from main Dart directory. What I'll do is just so we can see where we started from the last time and what I'm changing, I'm going to run our previous example and then modify it um, to, or simplify it by modifying it, of course. And uh, you can see exactly the effect that I'm going for. Um, so I'll close this. And this is gonna take a while to come up, 
But while that's happening, let me just tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, if you look at our example application, and maybe this is too big, so let me get a little bit smaller. All right. Um, if you go back here, if you look at our example application, we have a lot going on. We have this bottom nav bar and all this other stuff with cutouts, and we have a lot of um, icons in the app bar. We don't need all that stuff, right? So for that reason, I'm going to get rid of these um, actions, which are those icons in the app bar. And so I'll get rid of those. And so that's simple. that should simplify our thing code a little bit. I'm going to keep the app bar because I still want our title. And so for the home page, if you look here, we're using the material app. We're saying that the home for the material app is this class, right? This widget called home page, and we're passing in a text home page. That seems a little bit redundant. We don't really need to tell the home page that it's the home page. So we should probably just say this is equals to home page over there. Let's do it that way. And then we don't need to actually pass anything in. Um, we don't need to create a constructor. Um, instead, what we can do is just simply use our title um, here when we create the, in the app bar. Um, the other thing is for the first page, I don't want it to be orange, but instead we said it always was going to be green. So let's see what that looks like. Um, yep. Now what about accent green? Is that lighter? Yeah, too light. Uh, yeah, let's keep it with this dark green. All right, so that's looking good. Um, in terms of drawer, we do not want a drawer. So let's get rid of this. Again, we're simplifying our um, screen or this route. And so our own route is just a scaffold that has an app bar and a body and we don't need um, floating and all this other stuff, bottom navigation and everything. I guess that's for this example right now. So let's get rid of that, simplify things. Um, for the um, for the body, well, um, let's do this. Let's, um, we say we're going to put two buttons on the screen. So why don't we do this? Let's say, for this, we're going to use a raise button. And for the raise button, it still us that it needs a handler. And so we can leave it as null for now. And um, we need to tell, give it a child, which is the text. And we can say that oh, this is to page one. So essentially saying that I'll navigate to page one. We're not going to worry about, well, um, we could give it background color if we want. So um, let's see, highlight, co um, do, 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 highlight color, um, splash color, text color. Uh, so we can do colors that, and we use like a pink type color, I think. Um, for our first page, so maybe we can do something like that. Uh, yep, it didn't show up. Let's do this and this. See, we all right, so our button doesn't look disabled. All right, so that's why my text color didn't show up, is because my button was sort of shown as disabled. Um, all right, so let's get rid of this and create a second button as a child. And we'll let's call this page two. And then if I remember correctly, we did brown for that page. So we'll use that. And um, this is using, so it is, we need to center this horizontally. So what we should do is just probably wrap this column in a center widget by doing that and then do center. And so this should push this over and put it in the middle of our page. Um, even though, you know, we could really use like a row widget and put it at the bottom of the page. We can certainly do that sort of thing. All right, so that's what we have. Um, let's put the text at the top. Um, so let's do text widget and push it to the top. Um, nothing, no re particular reason, but oh well. 
Um, all right, so that's looking good, but um, it doesn't do anything, right? So you click on these, they don't go anywhere. Um, for our fab here, um, what we can do is let's get rid of it. And we want to create those other screens. So it looks like we can just reuse this homepage as a screen. So let's, I just copy that essentially. And so that's why it's complaining. So let's call this page one and get rid of this. That's going to be page one. All this stuff we're going to leave um, here except the color. So page one, I think we said was a pink is the color we're going to use in the app bar. And we don't need anything other than one raise button. We don't need two. If you remember, we said that it was just one button to return back to the own page. So let's take that out. And then we can go to column. And then we can, since it only has a child, we can say, um, remove this widget. And so the only thing we need is a center widget that wraps our button. And this button now, the text here is going to say home, meaning go back to the home page. And so the question is, now that we have two screens, right? We have our own page, which is loaded by default by our material app application. So when the application starts, we don't have to worry about this. This is nothing new from what we had before. And now we have a second page, well, page one, pink, second page, page or screen, right? or second road, but we have no way of getting to it. And this is where I disagree that they should, they should call, they shouldn't use road to mean screens. This is a screen or a page, and the way you get to it is by defining a road. But, oh well, they said it, so if you read the tech, the documentation for Navigator class, it says that, oh, a road in Flutter is a page slash screen. So we'll stick with that. And so the way we're gonna get there is from here, we want when this button is clicked, something to happen. Well, that something is to use the Navigator class. And here's the Navigator class. And there's a method called push. I remember we said, oh, we're dealing with a stack, right? It's dealing with, it's implementing this as a stack. So push context, and we have a context that's passed in. So that's what we're gonna pass to it. If you look at push, Push takes, let's go back here. Push method takes two things. Um, so my screen is a little too, let's close this guy. So we have some space. And so push takes a context and a route. And if you look at the documentation, it tells you how one of the things you can pass is a material page route and I'll show you an example here push context material page route so that's exactly what we're going to pass is a material page route so if we pass a material page route there you go this object and and it takes a builder but before i do that since this is a function anonymous function it executes a statement so I need that <laughs> yeah I was getting confused there all the nested stuff and the builder is a function that takes a build context and return a widget so it's a function that takes a context right and returns so it returns a widget so the widget we want to return is page one and so there we go and so if I save that, so once we have this now, we should have in place the implementation for this to navigate to page one, and it does. And as you can see, we went over to page one, but notice of above here, we automatically get a back arrow. This is gonna be on Android devices, you automatically get a back arrow. It's gonna tell you that in the documentation. On Apple, you might need to, you will have to put a button to, to navigate backwards, but it still works, it's just that, the way Android is built, they automatically put um, a back button for you. Okay, so we can suddenly go backward, but we, we, we want to use, you know, our home button to get back. So one way of doing that is to go now to our page. Notice we're on page one. It shows that right there with the color and everything. 
So on press, we want to go back home. So how does that work? Is navigator, if you remember, navigator, that push we, is how we got here. So if you remember, I told you it was a stack, we want to pop. And now we don't have to say what is it that we want to be revealed because it's a stack. It just knows that when it pops the thing that's currently on there, it's the thing below it. And that's going to be the previous page. So that's all there is to it. And if this finish compiling, we should be able to do that. And look at that. We're going between these two pages. Now, of course, it's pretty easy now that you see this to create our second page. And so I'll just copy that page and I'll call this page two. Uh, come on, page two, uh, let me do this, call that page two, and the code here should work, this pop, we don't have to do anything, this should be page two, and then the only thing we need to do on our home page here is to put the same piece of code here that allow us to navigate to page one, and so we come here, go in here, and to paste this, Save this, and instead of saying page one, we say we navigate into page two, and that's it. And so now, when we come here, and if everything is updated, we should be able to go to page two and home. Well, the reason why we still have the same color is because on page two, we copied it without changing the color. So let's change this to brown, okay? And then we want, um, this home not to be pink but rather green yep so that's the other thing too is our home page button here should be green to tell us we're going back home to the green button to the green page or green screen or green route i mean really all right so there we go click there notice we have a green button telling us to go back home we click on the brown button we're on the brown page page two go back home that's all there is as I said, this is fairly easy. All right, I wanna cut it here before it gets too long. Um, remember that I have, a, I have a Patreon page, do go check it out and if you can contribute, contribute in any way you can. If you can't contribute on Patreon, contribute any other means, PayPal, whatever. If you can't contribute, that's okay. Enjoy, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of the day, bye.